Come on, guys. Wonder where I'm at. I'm at a produce house. Here are our tomatoes. We're in Palmetto, Florida. Is where we are. We're on West Tenth Street, down in Palmetto. I picked up a little tomatoes. I, I looked on the uh, load, 43,000 is what we're getting. I just, carried, uh, I just came off a lot of ice cream, as you guys know. Put that down some more. Try to shove it a little bit better. It's a single up front, and then we're going to double, probably single double on the way back. Logo be kept at 50 degrees. Yep. There's a whole lot of trucks. Trust me. Street life. But yeah. You're responsible, sorry about that. You're responsible for uh, removing your low locks out of your trailer. You're not going to do it for you. Now, I was on the track. Damn. I don't these are water grown tomatoes or they get these from overseas. I don't know. Uh -huh. Exactly. Try to shut these a little bit better. Go ahead. I'm very, very particular about my freight, especially on produce. You guys gotta check everything. The pallets, the load, the top of it. I mean, everything. Check it out. 
this is no different than when you load out the port up there in New Jersey. You got to check everything. I should check those pallets. Most produce houses, they don't care you film. They really do not care. You always gotta check your loads. Always. Nothing can go wrong with them. It's a 50 degree load. Why more drivers are not on the docks looking and checking the load, I have no idea. Rules say drivers wait in trucks and wait for paperwork. Not with the produce load, you don't. You don't know what that load looks like. You don't know if the boxes are messed up. You don't know the pallets are screwed up. You don't know nothing. You don't know jack. Sorry, I can't do that. Our roof was already set for 50 degrees. See that lid was already all was almost off that box. That jar ain't checking it. That comes off. You may have a problem. And I don't want that. No. That last pallet's inside the trailer. That passed my inspection. Having the lids down a little bit more on the tomatoes, but other than that, it was fine. you want is you want the pallet standing upright. You don't want the pallet broken, messed up, or screwed up in any form. You want the boxes being absolutely locked down tight. By the top of that one, it's not completely, the far left, it's not completely locked down. It should be down further. That way it seals anything from getting inside the trailer. It's got the air holes, but you don't want nothing coming in the top of the box. And the pallets must be in good good form. 
It can't be broken, it can't be cracked, it can't be messed up. That's a no-no. They have that last top of the palette. White rack. That's fine. They can do that. Allergies. But this is white wrapping right here. This is white wrapping right here. This band, I'm going to keep these boxes together. There's not a white wrap on this one. Not one on there either. But there is a one on this one. That one passes. You want pallets being a perfect form. You want them cracked, broken, hanging off the side of it. You don't want none of that garbage. You want pallets sitting, um, sitting upright. Not able to lean or anything. Put a single right here and then start doubling. That's how you want your pallets looking. The whole trip up. You want everything in perfect form. And you do. You want pallets looking like that all the way back to where you want them looking. When you do your low locks, you want this low secure too. Completely top to bottom. Now, I can't just be walking over there just, you know, looking at those pallets over there. Can't do that. Are those hot for mine or what? I don't know. There's all the refrigerators to keep the tomatoes cold.
Oh man, up one of the boxes was all jacked up. It's like, oh no, we don't want that. Uh uh. That's a no no. There's a guy that loaded me right there. You know the white boxes over there at the end? That was the one that was loading me. Like I said, from here to Miami, there's all kinds of produce houses. I mean, a lot of them. So, because the boxes are all jacked up, he should be out here putting those down. Now, can I walk over there and look at those pallets? No. I gotta stay right here by my truck. I cannot walk the floor at all. See how tall those boxes are all up like that? They shouldn't be like that. Uh-uh. They should not. He's restacking those over there. As you guys can see He's having to take it off one pallet and he's back on to another one. Now, if you're in the Del Monte place, up in Gloucester City, New Jersey, they make you stay on the dock and make you 
look and check those pallets. And they do. They make you check those pallets. Are you restacking that load? This is where a produce house operates. And they operate on a daily basis. This is Saturday. This is Saturday and my load is due on Monday. Exactly fine. Some of these guys don't like being recorded. Some of them Nothing really going on. I'll let you guys go for a little bit and see the guy starts loading me again. I don't know what he's doing. I have no idea. Just sit tight and I'll let you guys go here in just a little bit. I'll come back here in just a minute, okay? Sit tight, guys. Okay, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Let me look at it. Let's the lid down more. Don't watch this shit. Load it! Perfect. Exactly how I want it.
Yep, do exactly what I thought I was gonna do. Put a single up there. Oh! I didn't have a lid on it. Load it! You're good. Go. I check all pallets. I've loaded produce before. Especially in Gloucester City. Gracias. I missed a lid. I missed one. There, that was down. I missed that one. Dang. Okay. I'm trying to keep the Liz down. This kid knows what to do. Same problems. Load. Looks good. Gracias, senor. Gotta be good with him. Load. They're doubling them all the way back. Which I found me. You gotta be tickler. Be. You gotta be very particular about your freight. Very particular. I check these pallets. I check these boxes up and down. Sometimes I catch a box. This one. I couldn't close because the forklift operator was right on top of it. It's no big deal. I just catch it inside the trailer. But you've got to watch your freight, people. You've got to watch your freight. Sometimes these produce houses, they'll try to send damaged product that they don't want in their warehouse anymore. And they'll try to mix it in your loads. Uh-uh. You can't do that. Wrong. you got to be very meticulous, extremely, extremely particular, and watch that load. Completely. I'm already seeing problems with this one. <sighs> Load it.
an exterior to the wall. Crisis, you gotta learn how to speak Spanish. You gotta understand the, the Spanish language, which I do, I understand it. They're gonna move these wall for wall as they're bringing them back. They'll put another two pallets here, no two pallets here, go against this wall and back and forth across all the way back. That's fine, we'll carry 43,000. They're stacking mine right now. They're stacking one, one of my pallets. These other drivers, they just got their loads and went. You can't do that. You gotta be very, very, very meticulous. I'm seeing a slight problem here. Come on, put these lids down. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Load it. Looks good. That may be a stack going on my truck. <clears throat> he looks, these doors closed. They're not gonna open it from the inside, dude. See what I meant when I said he'll put the next one against the wall and he walk out of the sun. See what I meant? They're going to go from this wall to this wall, this wall to this wall, all the way back to the 48 foot mark. <clears throat> but anyway, as I was saying, sometimes these uh, produce houses, they'll try to send messed up and busted up trailers. I mean, messed up and busted up uh, pallets. Like this. That ain't no good. Hell no. You gotta watch the sides of them. You gotta watch how they put. Oh, gotta watch how they put together. Oops. That one got away from me. But you gotta watch it. You gotta watch the pals they sit on. You gotta watch how your pals are stacked. You gotta watch everything. Come on, guys. Are you serious? <sighs> Load it. <clears throat> You've got to be meticulous. You got to watch everything. And those old messed up boxes. You gotta catch those. You gotta catch the pallet. You gotta catch it all. Hey, sir, I can't, I can't have you on the dock to record here, buddy. Okay. Alright, so I need you to get off my dock. I can't have you on my dock. Okay, I'm sorry. He got upset. We'll catch it later on um, after they get done loading. We're going to look at the load and we'll see, we'll see everybody in a minute. 